Hello everyone! We continue with this series of videos about Evergene. Today, we're going to learn about the operation of an essential part in Evergene, the transform component. Now, it's possibly the most important component in Evergene, since it stores the transformations of position, rotation, and scale of an entity. To understand how the component works, we must know that its behavior is linked to hierarchy. Now, we could understand it as the relationship that exists between an arm as a child entity and the body as a parent entity, or in the same way the relationship between the wheels and the chassis of a car. When the parent entity moves, so do the child entities. However, each entity can have its own transformation relative to its parent. These child entities, in turn, can be parents of other entities, thus generating the hierarchy. The transformations are position, rotation, and scale in three dimensions, and exist within coordinate systems that we call spaces. The coordinate system where the position, rotation, and scale are referenced to the parent is called local space. This means that their positions are relative to the transform component of the parent. In contrast, the coordinate system, where the position, rotation, and scale are referenced to the center of the scene, is called global space or world space. Now, this is typically at the origin of coordinates, 0, 0, 0, with rotation of 0 degrees on each axis and with unit scale. Therefore, the local and global spatial properties of an entity are in its transform component. From Evergene Studio, we'll be able to manipulate the local transformations of the component. However, in code, we'll have access to both local and global transformations. Also, the component has different events that are fired when any of the properties change. These events help us track the changes and react if our application needs it. Lastly, we have some methods that ease typical or recurring operations for an entity in space, such as the look at or local look at methods, which updates the rotation of the entity to point to a target position. In the component, the position, rotation, and scale properties are separated for ease of use, but internally, we work with a transformation matrix that holds all the necessary information and can be accessed through its corresponding property. Besides, we don't only have access to the local matrix, but it is also possible to access other relevant matrices, such as the global transformation matrix or the matrices of the child entities. Evergene. Elevate your vision.